Shikaiyach Rav Gadsman, I appreciate the honor and wish everyone a a freilich and lechtig in Chanukah. Rabbi Sai, <clears throat> when we look at the nusach of the Alanisim, um, and when we look at the nuschayes of even the pizmainim that we sing, Yivanim Nikbetsu Alai. Azai bimei chashmanim ufortsu choymais migdolai v'timu kol hashmanim. The ufortsu choymais migdolai is expressed very strongly in the Rambam himself. In the, but let me go in order. Lahashkicham toira secha. The lotion that's used in the Vator Barachamecha Harabim, Amaratolahem. After the attempt of Lahashkicham Tayrasecha, I'd like to discuss the Indian of Lahashkicham Tayrasecha. What does it mean to make someone else forget? You could stop, prevent someone from learning. How do you create forgetfulness? How do you forget, how do you create amnesia in someone else? Let's take a look at the Rambam. The Rambam in Hilchas Hanukkah says, Babai Shaliki Shemochu Yavan Gazru Gizeros Al Yisrael Ubitlu Dasam. And I think many of us are familiar with that Lashen. In Medrash Rabba, it expresses that which I think the Rambam just told us in the Pirzu by Pirzus, the Medrash Rabbah, in its own language, expresses it this way. The first, earliest psukim in the Torah, well, soyu vavoyu, v'choy shechal pnei sahayim. So I think that we're all familiar with the Medrash, but let's put it into perspective. V'choy shech ze golus yovon, shechshicha eneim shel Yisrael b'gzei roiseyen, Rabbi said, I want to examine this message together with you. When you hear the words, we'll come to the Chayshech in a moment. Why? We'll see in a moment. But they blackened the eyes of Klal Yisrael. Blackening someone's eyes, someone's eyes means that they're unable to see. Darkness is sightlessness. Light, nihirali, means sightfulness, seeing. <speaking in Hebrew> they darkened our eyes, big saying, what did you expect would be the gzeris? We're very familiar with the gzeris. Shabbos, chaydish, Mila. We're familiar with that... Um, she- so if I had to say what the Xeris were, I'd say Shabbos, Chaydish, Mila, and the inability to learn. That's not what the Medrash concludes with. The Medrash says, Forgive me. I don't mean to be childish. This is name calling. That's the Gizeros, the Goyim Mam Gizok Depis of the Eden. They said, Einlochem Chelik Belike Yisrael. I don't know what the word Chelik Belike Yisrael means yet. We'll see soon. But that's it? Not Shabbos, not Chaydish, not Milo, not not Talmud Torah, not Nisht Oisig Zayn B'Mitzvahs. This? This insult coming from whom? What does it mean? So let's take a deeper look. Choshech, the Vilna Goyen says that the Loshen Shochach, the word Shochach is the same Oisius as Choshech. That means Shikha creates a black hole, a void, an emptiness. A place where there's no light. That's what shikha is. When you remember something, you have light. 
when you don't remember something, there's a void, there's a blackness, a black hole. Choshech and Shikha are the same oasis. Choshech of Yavon wanted to create a certain Shikha. Let's take a look what they, what their intent was. The Masha says that the bracha that we make on a superior Talmud Chachem is Shecholak Mechachmasay Liyereyev. Says the Masha, the Nachri, who's a Chachem, Lahavdal, we say Shenosan Mechachmasay. The Talmud Chachem, we say Shecholak Mechachmasay. At first glance, Nosan sounds more, it's a greater portion than Cholak, which means it's divided. And yet the, the Oymik is, says the Masha, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a Shutif with them. We share something to the one that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't want to share. Nosan, I get this up. Aber Cholak meint, ich bin mit dir zusammen. I share with you. We're partners. I want to have that relationship with you. The relationship that Klal Yisrael has with HaKadosh Baruch Hu is unique. And the true intent of the Yuvanim was to intrude into that relationship and create a mechitza. Let's go through all the gezeris. Let's go through the ones that were mentioned and the ones that weren't. In the Gilas Tainus, it says, on the eighth day of Tevis, there's a Tainus, a Tainus Sadikim, brought in Shulchan Aruch, and Simon Tov Kuf Pei. And in other Chazal, it says that it was a Chayshech Kiyom Shanasa Ha'egel. Chayshech. For what? For the translation of the Torah into Greek. Why would that be so? Because the Torah is a special relationship that HaKadosh Baruch has with Klal Yisrael. The Medrash Eicha, which we'll come to later, at the very end, the Medrash Eicha depicts that HaKadosh Baruch is the Chos and Klal Yisrael is the Kala and the Torah is the Ksuba. And Iksub is something that's intimate. Yavon, Yavon interposed itself into the Ksuba by translating it into their language. It's no longer singular for Klal Yisrael. Let's take a look at the next Indian that the Taisus Yontif elaborates on in Mesechtas Midas. Let's take a look. The Mishnah Mesech this Midas Peret Beis, Mishnah Gimel, tells us about the Soireg, which was a Mechitza inside the Beis Amigdash. Says, Lefnim Menu, Soireg, says the Tais Vizyantif. The Hina Yud Gimel Hishtach Avayos, the 13 bowings that took place in the Avoid and the Beis HaMikdash, Keneged HaYud Gimel Pirzais. What were the Yud Gimel Pirzais? Bo'u B'nei Yovon, U Pirzu Yud Gimel Protsim B'Soireg. They made 13 breaches in the Soireg that was a containing mechitza and fence and wall, if you will, inside the Beis HaMikdash. Vashu, Chashmenoim came and they repaired and restored the wall called the Sairei. What bothered the Yavanim? Why did they make these 13 breaches? And the Taisus Yontif elaborates and says that that was the last point. At Khan, no entry. The Nachri was not allowed to step in beyond that point. Therefore, they breached it. The breach of the Nachri at that point allowed them to enter where they didn't belong. And the Hashemnoim's task was to repair that. 
and we we recognize this with the hishtachavayis we have. The rush in his parish on Mesechtes Midas says that it had another purpose. Not only do not enter, but it created a rishus hayochid so that it could be tiltul b'shabes. That means that right now the Beis Hamikdash is Kalal Yisrael's Rishus Hayochid. The Oilam just finished Erevin. They know what a making an a an Erev a super residence means to connect and combine all the Mishpachas. And it's Mavu in the Svas Emes that the intent of the Yavanim was to turn the Rishus Hayochid of Kalal Yisrael into a Rishus Arabim. The Tferes Yeruchim, the Radzina Rebbe, Zechet Tzadik Levrocha, says, it's very strange that we have a mitzvah of Ne'er Hanukkah that should take place in the Rishus Arabim. In a minute, we'll see why. So far, what do we have? We have the breach of the Ksuba. It's no longer yours alone. I have stepped into your relationship. Now I'm stepping into your home, the Beis Amikdash. I broke the walls. No more Rishus Hayachid. No more do not enter. I can walk all over the place. The Rambam brings a Dova Nifla in, in Maima Kiddush Hashem. The Rambam brings that there was a gzeira of the Yavanim not to allow a Jewish home to close its door so that we could be under the surveillance of the Yavanim to make ensure that we don't do mitzvahs. Says the Radzina Rebbe, it's unique that we should do a mitzvah b'rishus ha-rabim. Hatznei alecha, similikecha. We know the Gemara Makis, afilu chasnes and levayis. What are we doing a mitzvah in the rishus ha-rabim? Some cipher speaks about it already in Shabbos. Says the Razina Rebbe, you opened our doors to bring the darkness of your Rishus Arabim into our Rishus Ayachid. We are going, the Mida connected Midas, we're opening our doors one more time to bring the light of our mitzvah out to your darkness. The bottom line is, you stepped into my Ksuba. You stepped into my national home. You stepped into my personal private home. What Shabbos? Shabbos Chodesh and Mila. Shabbos is where Hakadosh Baruch Hu Boi Chalu Boi Chalu. Hakadosh Baruch Hu comes to Klal Yisrael, each one into their home. What's Chodesh? Chodesh besides itself, Rosh Chodesh is Yom Tovim. And what's Yom Tovim? Maria Ali and Laregel. Shabbos kum te chosen to uns. Yontiv gate the kala zum chosen. But each one of them, Shabbos, Yontiv, these are chaydish, these are intimacies disrupted by the Yavanim. Milad is self explanatory. The invasion and violation of the Kedusha of Yisrael. Let's look at something else. Achman al Islam, the Rambam's Loshan. What's that? What the Rambam said? Upashtu yadam b'memaynam uve b'nei seyem. The the Gemara at the beginning of Mesechtas Kesubis. Achman al Tzlan, the faith of a new kala. It wasn't simply an act of of that kind of behavior that I don't want to express. That could have been performed before the Chasana. Dafka, Nivala, Lahegmain Trilla, the violation I step between the Chasan and the Kala. Yovan is here. Yovan does not allow Klal Yisrael to have any intimacy with Akadish Bahu. That violation, that violation is Kisw Lachem al Karanasha. Sha'in Lachem Khalik Belake Yisrael. This includes all the Gezeris. This is the time for Shabbos Chaydish Mila. This is time for Nivala Lehegmain Tchila, the violation of Kedusha Yisrael. It's the time for the breach of the Seire. It's the time for the Tirgum Atayra. 
שאין לכם חלק בלקי ישראל. That חלק that the Masha says, שחולק מחכמוסוי, we array of that כלל ישראל מתאבש is in שוטפים in the Torah. A yid has a machem to be mechadish in the Torah. That we have taken away from you. Das is, das is Yavon. Das is Yavon. Und das is lahashkichem Torah secha. This was the intent of what we call the violation of not allowing the lahashkichem is to create choshech. Choshech, black holes in what was your Torah and what was your identity as the Mekabalei HaTayra, as the Kala, vis-a-vis HaKadosh Baruch HaKaviyachal L'Chazit. By the way, our boy said, what's the solution? How did this victory have to happen? There's a Dava Pella. A Dava Pella. Let's take a look again. At the um, let's take a look again at the Alanisim. The Ato Berachamecho Rabim, Omadatolahem the Esorosum, Raftas Rivam, Dantas Dinam, Nikamtas Nikmasam, Musata Giboirim Biad Chaloshim, Verabim Biad Maatim, Utmeim Biad Tahirim, Urishoim Biad Sadikim. Vizaidim biad oiske sara secha. Zaidim biad oiske sara secha. There's extra, extraordinary lashinas here. Each one, till now, described the, the military setup. Let's take a look again. Gibayrim vis a vis haloshim. In the context of war, we hear what that means. Rabim biad ma'atim, similarly. Tmeim biad tahayrim, we're already talking skula, schusim. Rishoyim biad tzadikim, similarly, with a different, a different uh, bent. Zaydim biad oiske sarasach. I think we have to be medayik over here, by the way. We'll, we'll, we'll try to define the zaydim in a minute. We'll try to define the Oiske Sarasecha in a minute. But let's understand that the Oiske Sarasecha were not the Nitzolim, they were the Matzilim. Just like the Machlaik is Rishonim in Afhein Hoyu Boiso Anes, that is Machayiv Noshim in their Hanukkah, where the Noshim, the Nitzolois, like Taisus learns, or where they the Matzilois, like the Rashbam learns. Here it's clear, it's unambiguous. The heroes, the champions, the victors, the matzilim are the oiske sechel They are not the beneficiaries of the nest. They are the benefactors of the nest. Dava nifla. Dava nifla. Let's take a look first to understand this. Let's first take a look. At the at, at who these Zaydim are. Please remember the Rambam's Lashon that I read at the beginning. Note that the Rambam doesn't say Lilmoy, the Rambam says Lasoy. Let's take a look further. The Rambam in in Hilchas Me'ila, Perikhes, has an extraordinary portrait of David HaMelech. V'kama hoya David HaMelech mitzta'e min haminim u'min ha'akum shahoyu meshivim ala chukim. They used to, a, a, a nice word is respond, debate, but what we know, it means undermine the chukim that klal Yisrael, zois chukas ha-tayra. V'chol zman shahoyu roit v'm oisoi b'tshuvoi sheker shahorchim l'fi koitza das ha-adam. As much as David HaMelech would hear what the Rambam called 
foolish, falsehood and foolishness. Their limitations didn't allow him to comprehend the godless of a choyk. That a choyk, more than a mishpat, in a certain sense, defines the relationship between Kutshebrichu and Klal Yisrael, between a king and a subject. And Lefi Koytze Da'asa Adam, they didn't, they, they didn't comprehend. Well, what was the response of David Amelech? Instead of debating with them further, instead of any other method that you might think of, listen to what David did. When I heard the falsehoods, the falsehoods of the Zaydim, then I bound myself and attached myself closer to the Torah. That's the only response. They're not here for a debate. The response is more dveikus patayra. What's the word that was used in that pasuk? Tofla lai sheka zaydim. Who are zaydim? Zaydim are those who taunt the talmidah chachamim and taunt the authenticity and the integrity of the taira. Zaydim. Misyavnim. And whose hands do they fall in? The method is beyond the dveikis of Dovr HaMelech, beyond oiskei soira secha. The Rambam goes further and he talks to us. The presumptive oiskim betoira secha. Says the Rambam in Hilchus Talmud Torah. V'chein kol she'ef sholoi betoira, la'asoik betoira, nish l'ilmoid, la'asoik betoira. V'einoi oiskei. He's able to delve into Torah, to be occupied by Torah, not just simply skim. <clears throat> or he actually did study a bit, upiresh, and then he departed <laughs> to the vanities of the outside world. <laughs> And he left behind his learning, Torah, and he abandoned it. So really, the poles are Oisik and Boise. Zaydim. As much as you are an Oisik, that's how far you are from a Boise. They are the poles and the way to conquer the conquest of Boizim and the conquest of Zaydim. Those who taunt Torah, the conquest is done by the Oiske Sechasecha, by David Amelech's increased Dveikis, or as the Rambam tells us, by our own. Let's take a look at the Lashon of Dara Chaim HaKadosh. Everyone's familiar, of course, in Bechokoisei Seleichu. Theo Amelim Betoira that Rashi brings the Medrash, the Medrash Halacha. Zok the Archaim Akadish, please listen to his language. The Tam Shakora Hakosiv Omel Hatoira Chuka. Imbuchu Koisai Telechu. The Pasik is difficult. First of all, we'll come to Telechu. Where do you see in Telechu? Where do you see in Telechu? His Askus and Amelis Betoira. Stop. We'll leave that. I don't know if we'll get to it today. Rabbi Gottesman is kind enough to uh, to ask me back at a different time. Uh, perhaps we'll have an opportunity to go into that if we run out of time today. But let's take a look at the chukah. In B'chukai say Talechu. Why is the Torah in this context referred to as chukah? So listen to the Archaim. That means the purpose of Taira is not that it's a handbook. It's not just Lil Maid Lishma Velas is 
once I know what I have to perform, for example, the mitzvah, uh, the Indian of Nashim learning Torah so that they should know how to perform the mitzvahs like the Chavz Chaim speaks about in the Halachas Kitanas. That is a handbook learning. If I don't know how to perform the mitzvah, I can't. Lahavdo. One has to teach or one has to learn Zayim mitzvahs b'nei noyach so Nachum can properly observe. But that's not limud ha-toyra. Ayin toysvis chagigit af yud gimel. It's a practicality. For us, Oktar Chaim HaKadosh, I know it already. Beis, gimel pomim. It's not so simply that you should know so that you could perform, but because it's become part of you. I'd like to explain this chukachakak. What did he add with this underscoring the words chukachakak? In the Sefer Azikarim, Pachad Yitzchak, there's an extraordinary maima from Avhutna's Chayn of Racha. His yard site was just recently. Rav Hutna is being marich in the site of Rabbi Saul Salanta with regard to Ben Soira Moya. Time doesn't allow to go into the full extent, but let me say a particular Nakuda. He talks about the difference between Ksiva and Chakika. And he says, by definition, Ksiva means I take an extraneous element and I apply it to a tablet. That's ksiva. Ink, dye, graphite, whatever you're taking as the element that you're going to be writing with, you have now overlain in letter form, you have overlain on this blank, this tabula rasa, blank slate, you have overlain oisius. Das heis ksiva. Das is ksiva legabi shabbos. Das is ksiva in gitten. That's ksiva. What's chakika? Chakika is by definition where you do not take an outside extraneous element and apply it to the tablet, but you chisel out of the tablet itself, mine ube, that impression of Isis, so that that which represents the letters is not something from the outside, but it's from the inside itself. The tablet screams now the words. I think it's obvious that this is more intrinsic. This is more integral to the tablet. It's in the tablet and not on the tablet. Says Rav Hutna, from that concept is derived the term choyk. A mishpat is bebchinas ksiva. There's a tam that has been applied. Something additional to the etzem. While by chakika, it's minei ubei. That's a chayk. I have nothing else. There's nothing else. It's just it itself. The fact that the Apishta commanded it. Perhaps, if I may, apply Rav Hutner's understanding of the word choy to the Ahayim Hakadosh's words. Nachamo, the time shekara hakosiv amel atoyra chuka l'tzad sheyesh ba mitzvah afilu lul my dvarim shalom dam pamayim or gimel v'hem yidu a metzlay, but kichovit Hashem be'esik atoyra chuka chakan. 
He wants it to be part of you. Taira delay. That's imbuchu koisai delay. Your amelis will be bebchenas chakika. That's so internal, intrinsic. It's so you. It's so taira delay. Das is oiske soira secha. Das is amelim. That's the difference between someone who scans a blot gemara and skims over it, and someone who sweats through a gemara. The Amma Paziza, Rava, who is sitting and Miss Amek in learning till he doesn't realize that there's blood squirting from his finger, which is underneath his thigh, and he's pressing and learning. Because the delving is so, is, is so, the focus is so all encompassing. That koyach, let's take a look now, a half of the Galoshan of the Prima Godim. Prima Godim says in Tafresh Ayin in Hilchas Hanukkah, he teaches with Zaydim Biyad Oiski Serasecha. Al Derech. This is the We're commanded to be ma'ayin, to learn bi'iyun, and then to have the masa umatn, the pilpulish al toira. Not just the skimming. Im Cain says the Prima Godim, Loizu shall Mosa Zaydim Biyada Medaktikim, Bechukim Biyosa. It's not that a Kaddish Bohu gave the, the Zaydim, by the way, not Yavonim, Zaydim. I think we could be comfortable with the Taich that these, the Zaydim, these Zaydim are closer to the Misyavnim. To the Hellenists, loizu shemasa hazaydim biyad hamedaktikim bechukim biyosa. That means people who are supremely observant. Afzu loizu afzu masa oisim boiske toyre secha usasim bepilpulam. Not just to those who are pious and observant. But to those who are mafalpel, the oiske sir secha, the lumdim, kemai machochem, kemisha loy tam tam simcha satoras asvekis, loy tam tam simcha me oilam. Those people, those people who had a shemerik tzais, those people who had a, a difficult rabchaim, and then suddenly they have that moment where the light goes on, umafashtei. And they have the simcha of hatolas asveikis. Those people are the ones who are toyim simcha, and those who didn't know the simcha like time simcha may oilam. Concludes the prima gadim mipnei zeh onu mechuyavim b'mechanika lil may toyra va'avoyde beleiv zutvila v'hayda ogmilas chasadim v'mamen v'guf. So, Mamela, that Hanukkah should not be a moment in which we lower our devotion to learning, but Adarabba, where it's increased or at least maintained, which this program, I can't speak for this year, but for this program with extraordinary Magide Shia, Gidele Taira, is manifest. Dafke Bechanika. That's the prima godim. Rabbi said, "Let's go back to Zaydim biyad oiski sarasecha. Zaydim helitzuni admoi. Zaydim are the ones that were meshivim ala chukim. Chukim, a dafka, the definition of bichokaisa selechu of those who are amel b'tayra who understand that the tayra deserve needs to be chukuka, not just." Suva, but Chakuka in us. That mocking has no response. 
That mocking has no response. All, all that David Amelech could do, says the Rambam Soif Hilchas Meila, is to be Moisif Bedveikis Atayra. That's the only response to the Zaydim. And Hanukkah, and by the way, David Amelech says the Lashon Taflu Alai Shekhe Zaydim. That's the oimik of Zaydim Biyad Oiske Sechasecha. Dafka, Dafka, Zaydim, Dafka Biyad Oiske Sechasecha. Rabbi Say, let's review. We began to share discussing the extraordinary violation and intrusion into Klal Yisrael's intimacy with HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the Yivanim and Chachmas Yivanis. Chayshech al Pnei Sarayim, Chayshech Zeh Golis Yavan, Sheikh Shichu is the name of Yisrael, but Zeh is saying, every single Zeh, before we come to the Lashen of Kisvu Lachem, but every single Zeh, Shabbos, is the violation of the yachas of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Boi Chala. Yantif of Aliyah L'Rega. That's Chaydish. Milo Adach Milo. Limur HaTayra, I'm going to cite to you in a moment the Medrash that says that the Torah is the Ksuba between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Klal Yisrael. The, the breach of the Soireg in Yud Gimel Pirzis is the makayim that the Nachri can't walk beyond because it's intimate between HaKadosh Baruch and Klal Yisrael. That's the Taisvus Yantav and Midas. Or the Russian Midas who says it's supposed to be a Rishus HaYochid. Klal Yisrael is Rishus HaYochid. And the Svas Emes explains that they want to turn it into a Rishus HaRabin. Rachman al the violation that the Rambam brings in my Mekiddush Hashem, of not allowing the door to a Jewish home to be closed. And finally, Nivala Lahegmain Tchila. Pashtu Yadam Bimamayim Abunaseyem. Stepping into the intimacy and kedusha of our lives, which binds us with a Kaddish Bachu, because a Chasin and Kala Rabbi Say, Vais Midach, Zachu Ish the Isha, Zachu Shkina Benayem. They stepped into that as well. So what's the response? Let me share with you a medrash in closing. The medrash in, in Eicha says as follows. It was a woman who a, a prince traveling through her province decide to betroth her They'll get married. And he wrote her a their equivalent of a ksuba. And he's going to come back for her. And he rides off. But he doesn't. And the neighbors taunt her. And they say, he's never coming back. He's never coming back. And she says, he will. And then one day he appears. And he's ready to take her. But it's after a very long time. And then he says to her, Tamiya ani mimech. I don't understand you. You're a puzzlement. Hechim tant li kol oisel hashanim. How did you wait for me all these years? So she said it wasn't easy. But I would open the drawer and I would read the ksuba that you wrote. And then I had strength to go on. Zok de medrash, lo'asid lavoi. When the Abishta will come to be Goyal Klal Yisrael, he'll say, Tami Anim Mimkem. Heichim Tamtem Li Kol Shonim Alolu. How did you wait for me all these years? And we're going to respond, we also took out the Ksuba. And we said, you're coming. And that gave us the strength. Rabbi Say, the Tirgum of the Torah into Yavonis, that created the Chayshech of Gimel Yomim Kimayim Shanazad by Egel. Fosit the Finstanish. The Finstanish, the Nems Tzu, my Ksuba, Oich? My Ksuba, you're, you're, you're taking, you have a Shutif? And all of that is encompassed in the Lashen. Kisvu Lachem Al Kerem Lasha, Kein Lachem Chelik Belike Yisrael. The Chelik that the Masha says that a Kaddish Baruch was a Shutif with a Talmud Chachem. 
Shecholak mechachmos elirayim. All that lies in in that. It's not name calling. It's a description of the purposeful intent of Yavon to step in to the greater nivelo lahegman tchilo. Doser chayshech. Doser lahashkicham toira secha to make you forget your ksuba. Zok to go in. Shikha shin chav ches shachach is oisi is chayshech. The solution, Rabbi Zai, has always been it's the first the line of defense. It's the last line of defense. The answer to Lashkichim Tarasecha is Oiske Sarasecha. May I thank both Agudas Yisrael and Rav Gadisman. For affording me the opportunity to share these words with you. But for this program in which people on Hanukkah, with so many distractions and diversions, still know that they have their, their kvius, and the kvius in the words of the Prima Godim, Adarabah. So I thank you for that and wish everyone great Hatzlacha, Afreilichen, Lechtir and Chanukah. And we should only hear Psuvis Taifas from Ganz Klaal Yisrael.